Yes?
Hey, look at this. If times weren't so tough, I'd give you a discount, seeing as how you're a big celebrity and all. But with the Sith occupation, I can barely afford to keep the doors open. Because of the Sith quarantine, Don't you just love watching the Pazak players? What do you want? Have you come here just to bother me, or do you... I'm going to enjoy relieving you. Kazak is not for If you ever wished I saw you in the swoop race. Very impressive. You seem like you know how to get results. That's just the kind of person I'm looking for. My name's Candorus Ordo. I work for Davik Kang in the exchange. The hours aren't great, but they promised me a fortune to work for them. And I have nothing better to do. Mandalorian mercs like me are in high demand. But lately, Davik hasn't been paying me what he promised. I don't like getting cheated. So I figure it's time for me to break the Sith quarantine and get off this backwater planet. I've got a plan to escape Taurus, but I can't do it alone. I need someone I know can get the job done to help me. That's where you come in. Careful. Mercs like this having a lick of conscience. They'll betray you in a heartbeat. This could be a trap. I ain't talking to you. I'm talking to your friend, aren't I? I saw you win that swoop race and started thinking. Anyone crazy enough to race like that is probably crazy enough to break into the Sith military base. 
I need someone to steal the Sith launch codes from the base. Without those codes, any ship leaving the atmosphere will be disintegrated by the Sith fleet's automated defense guns. Here's the deal. You bring me those launch codes, and I can provide the vehicle to get us off the planet. Davik's flagship, the Ebon Hawk. Uh-uh-uh, not yet. First you bring me the launch codes, then I'll tell you the rest of my plan. Getting in won't be easy. The Sith base is protected by an encrypted security system. It would take a top-of-the-line astromech droid to slice through it. Lucky for you, I know just the place to get a droid like that. Davik was having one custom-built by Janus Nal. Just tell her Kandorus sent you, and she'll sell you the droid. Then you can use it to get the launch codes from the Sith base. Normally I'd do this myself, but everyone knows who I work for. If I broke into the Sith base, they'd send an army down on Davik's estate to get those codes back. That's why I need you. I don't sense any deception from him, which is surprising. This may be exactly what we need. I'm going to wait in Javiar's cantina. You come and find me when you've got those launch codes, and I'll make sure we both get off this rock. Ladies and gentlemen, draw hold on to your seats and stay back from the edges of the ring. He's wild, he's unpredictable, he's borderline psychotic, and he's the best damn duelist in the game today. Give it up for Twitch! But Twitch's opponent in this against a real champion. But I only fight in death matches, and not too many people are willing to step into the ring knowing they won't ever come out. How about you, stranger? You think you got what it takes? So you're the one doing Zax's dirty work. Well, I've got some bad news for you, little bounty hunter. There's no way you're bringing me in. This cantina is wired with a top-level security grid. You pull a weapon on me and the auto-fire turrets will fry you before you can even pull the trigger. Why would I ever want to leave here? I've got food and drinks, a place to stay, and everybody treats me with the respect I've earned for my bullying career. But if you're set on collecting that bounty, I'll make you a deal. I kind of miss the fight game. My hand is itching for the feel of a blaster in my grip. I've seen you in the duel ring. 
You're just good enough to spark my interest. So I'll agree to face you in a death match. You win, you get to collect that bounty for killing me. Finally, fresh meat. Azure will set it up. Go talk to him. It will take some time to arrange, so no point sticking around here until then. I'll be back when it's time for you to die. Go, Oh, you? You're the mystic. You know, Vendix ne- journey to the savage days of years gone by, to a time when two combatants entered the arena and only one came out alive. They're illegal. They're banned. They've been outlawed for nearly ten years, but we've got one for you tonight. A good old-fashioned death match! In this corner, a living legend. A man whose very name would make his opponent shake in their boots. If any of them were still alive! <laughs> Out of retirement for one last battle! Bandit Star Killer! And who would be crazy enough to step into the ring with such a lethal legend? Who would be mad enough to face almost certain death merely for your enjoyment? Ladies and gentlemen, Feast your wondering eyes on the mysterious stranger. And now, the
The fight is over! Bendex Star Killer is down! Bendex Star Killer is dead! All hail the mysterious stranger! The greatest duelist to ever grace the Rings of Terrace! Vassala, I was wondering something. How did those Vulcans manage to capture a famous Jedi like you? Or were you not? N no, I was conscious. But my Force powers were exhausted from using my battle meditation in the battle for the Ender Spire. Without my help, you might have never gotten off the ship alive. Fair enough, but I've seen you Jedi in action. There's, there's no way those thugs could have stood a chance against your lightsaber. My lightsaber was misplaced. I couldn't find it after the crash. I looked everywhere in that pod. The Vulcus came and overwhelmed me even as I was searching for my weapon. Wait a minute. Let me get this straight. You lost your lightsaber? Well, <laughs> I mean, isn't that a violation of some kind of Jedi code or something? This is no laughing matter. During the crash, my lightsaber must have... It must have fallen from my belt and rolled under my seat. The Vulcans probably found it there when they searched the wreckage. Hey, 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 don't get mad. I'm sorry. It's just funny to think of a legendary Jedi losing her lightsaber. Take my advice. This is one detail you might want to keep out of the history texts. I hardly consider myself a legend, Calf. Though I will consider your advice when I relate these events to the Jedi Council. There is no need for them to know every detail of what transpired. Remember, if you... What? what do you want? Are you here to threaten me again? Well, it won't do you any good. I don't have anything left for you to steal. Can't you just leave me alone? Uh, I guess I can't turn you away in good conscience. Very well, I will... What? What do you... Well, I did set this facility up to help those in need, so...
Basila, did you ever think about joining all the Jedi who were running off to follow Revan and Malak when they went to fight the Mandalorians? That was nearly five years ago. I was still an apprentice. My battle meditation hadn't even manifested itself. Yet even then I had the wisdom to obey the will of the Council. Unlike Revan. I guess. Still, do you ever wonder if things could have been different? I mean, would Revan and Malak still have been corrupted if the Council had supported them instead of dragging its feet? Do not blame Revan's corruption on the Council. Your Republic saw only the threat of the Mandalorians, but the wisdom of the Masters saw beyond the immediate threat. There was something lurking out there. Something that devoured Revan and Malak, and many other Jedi. Had the Council sent us all into the unknown, how many more would have fallen? So you're saying we should have done nothing? Just let the Mandalorians conquer us unopposed? I mean, the Republic was under attack, and the Order abandoned us. We did not abandon you, but the Council were not about to throw lives away foolishly. In time, we would have aided you against the Mandalorians, but you couldn't wait. Revan and Malak offered a quicker answer, and the Republic chose to walk the easy path rather than the path of wisdom. Now we see the results all around us. You asked me if I think things could have been different. I know they could have. If Revan had only listened to the Council, millions of innocent people would still be alive. Yeah, right. And every single one of them would have been speaking Mandalorian. I, I think we're done here. Let's just get back to the task at hand. You'd think people would be a little more tolerant of others in this day and age. I guess stupidity and ignorance will never go out of style. Genchopa chawi tichot wees yun chinapala mule tongki. Mokao danya foki chachiska dopun. Can chopa chawi ti chop twees yun kun? What?
What? Cava dumpa capalia monapata, bona. Kinkun shi kakchin awana wamata, bona na kachu kicha badwang. What can I do? Sure. Thank you. 
I do what? Thank <laughs> you. 
to break my meditation. You will pay for interrupting my... Wait. I sense the force is strong with you. Very strong. Who would have thought a force adept could be found on this insignificant planet? But your talent is no match for a disciple of the dark side. Ah, yes. Feed the hatred and anger within yourself. Call upon the power of the dark side, but not even that can save you now. This meeting is a stroke of luck for me. My master will surely reward me with my lightsaber once I kill you.
Yes? What? Yes? Who dares to who? Yes? What? Ready? Yes? What? This elevator is off. It's off. Well, why didn't you just be...
I figured you'd be back. Neither of us is getting off this planet unless we work together. Now, I know the Sith military base had a break-in. And I know it was you. I know you've got those departure codes I need. So what do you say? We join forces, and I... Fair enough, but don't take too long. As soon as you're ready to get inside Davik's estate, come speak to me. The sooner we get off this rock, the better. Alex always looking to recruit new. I'll say I brought you in so he could check you out. He'll have you stay at his estate for a couple of days while he runs some background checks on you. That's standard procedure. This is too risky. We should find another way. You got another plan, sister? Or are you just objecting because you didn't think of it? No, I don't have another plan. I would rather not place my life in your hands, however. I can say the same about you. That makes us even. Fortunately, we both want to get off this rock, right? While Davik's checking you out, we steal the Ebon Hawk and escape Taurus. Come on, I've got an airspeeder nearby to take us to Davik's estate. The... Billions of people on Terrace. We'd be slaughtering countless innocent civilians, not to mention our own men still on the surface. Your predecessor once made the mistake of questioning my orders, Admiral. Surely you are not so foolish as to make the same mistake. Of, of course not, my Lord Malik. I will do as you command, but it will take several hours to position our fleet. Then I suggest you begin immediately. You are dismissed, Admiral. Yes, Lord Manor. So, Candorus, I see you've brought someone with you. Most intriguing, if I do say so myself. You usually travel alone. It's not like you to take on partners, Candorus. You're getting soft. Watch yourself, Callow. You may be the newest cath hound in the pack, but you aren't top dog yet. 
Enough. I won't have my top two men killing each other. That's not good business. I'm sure Kandras has an explanation as to why he's not working solo anymore. This is a special case, Davak. I ran into someone the Exchange might want to recruit. You may have heard something of their exploits already. Ah, yes. Now I recognize your companion. The rider who won the big swoop race. Very impressive, as was your display in the rather heated battle afterwards. An important lesson to learn, no doubt. In my line of business, I've seen far too many people suffer for not understanding it. With the recommendation from Candorous and a thorough background check, you could become part of the exchange. Many would kill to prove themselves worthy of this honor. Come with me. I will give you a tour of my operations. I'm certain you'll be most impressed. Ah, there she is. The Ebonhawk. My pride and joy. The fastest ship in the Outer Rim. Note the state-of-the-art security system I've had installed to protect her. The shields are completely impregnable. Nobody can get past them without the codes to try and steal my baby. Unfortunately, the Sith military blockade has grounded my vessel. The Ebonhawk can outrun any vessel in the galaxy. But even she isn't fast enough to avoid the auto-targeting laser cannons of the orbiting Sith fleet. I am, of course, working on acquiring the Sith departure codes so that I may come and go as I please. However, progress has been slow. But we should continue our tour. These'll be your accommodations. The slave quarters are just down the hall. If you need anything during your stay, food, a massage, feel free to call upon their services. If all goes well with your background check, you will be invited to join the exchange. I'd advise you to accept the offer when it comes, or suffer the dire consequences of refusal. You will stay in these rooms as my guest for the next few days. I will not, I must warn you, that if you are found anywhere outside the guest wing during your stay, or if you bother my other guests, my security forces will deal with you most harshly. I will return after the investigation into your background is complete. Until then, make yourself comfortable. Come, Callow. Let us leave our guests in peace. Okay, we're inside. Now all we have to do is figure out a way to get past the Ebon Hawk's security system, and we can get the rest of your group off this planet. No sense waiting around here, though. The sooner we get off Taurus, the better. <laughs> Yeah, what do you want? Your Yes, sure. Thank <laughs> you. 
No problem. Got hey! What's the idea of barging in here? Get out of here, or I'll call the guards. Pudu, Tony Rama na praka donko tsercha chupapanki. Hey, baby, wait. I wasn't actually going. Damn it! Okay, great. You just scared off my date for the night. So you better explain yourself before I lose my temper and call the guards. You should have picked an easier target. By the time the guards show up, they're gonna have to take you out of here in pieces. Let's make this quick. No problem. Got it. No problem. Got it. No problem. Got it.
What can I do? What can I do? Yes. Yes? Yes. Yes. No problem. Got it. idea what it was like in that torture cage. I don't know how much more I could take before going mad. Please don't hurt me. I'll tell you everything I know. Information worth a fortune. So just stay calm, okay? I I'll tell you what I know. I used to be the pilot of the Ebonhawk, Davik's flagship. I know the codes to disable the security system protecting it. I'll load them onto your data pad now. You can use those codes to steal the Ebonhawk right out of its hangar. Sell it to the highest bidder, ransom it back to Davik. Whatever you do, you'll make thousands. What? But I, I don't have anything else. Those Ebonhawk codes are worth a fortune. Isn't that enough? Please, just let me go. We got what we came for. There is no need to indulge your appetite for violence. You core slime! I didn't survive through all that torture just to let you kill me! So, Bastila, I heard a rumor that the Vulcars captured you without much of a struggle. It must be embarrassing to be bested by a handful of street thugs. There were extenuating circumstances, and I can assure you, it took far more than a handful of Vulcas to subdue me. Whatever you say. All I know is that if we had more Jedi like Bastila fighting against us in the Mandalorian Wars, my side might not have lost. Bold talk from a broken down mercenary who is serving at Davik's heel. I'd call you his pet cat hound. But they have enough loyalty not to turn on their masters. Insults? Maybe if your master had trained your lightsaber to be as quick as your tongue, you could have escaped those Vulcars, you spoiled little Jedi princess. I was not spoiled. I was given the same training as everyone else in the Order. You are nothing but a... No, I must not do this. There is no emotion. There is peace. That's the problem with you, Jedi. Always chanting about peace and control. Never up for a good fight. Well, except for Revan, I guess. Enough, Mandalorian. I won't rise to your bait anymore. The game is over. 
Let us continue on with what we were doing. No problem. Didn't work. No problem. Damn those Sith, they're bombing the whole planet. I knew they'd turn on us sooner or later. Oh, look what we got here. Thieves in a hangar. So, you figured you'd just steal my ship for your getaway and leave me high and dry while the Sith turn the planet into dust? Sorry, but that ain't gonna happen. I'll take care of them, Davik. I've been looking forward to this for a long time. Make it quick, Carlo. The Sith mean business. If we don't get to our ships and find somewhere safe, the bombs there drop and will kill us all. The Force fights with me! Taking all of you with me. This thermal detonator will blow us all to bits. Damn this shit! Now bring this whole hangar down around our ears! Ah! Ah! Yeah, what do you want? Do you want to hear? My name's from times of trick wheel, but not when I do it. Let's get this ship fired up. We'll pick up the yeah. rest of your friends and then we'll have to get off this planet.
Taris is defenseless against our assault, Lord Malak. They are offering no resistance. The city is in ruins. Resume the bombardment, Commander. Wipe this pathetic planet from the face of the galaxy. Plot a course for Dantooine. There's a Jedi Enclave there where we can find refuge. Incoming fighters! Quickly, to the gun turrets. You have to hold the Sith fighters off until we get those hyperspace coordinates punched in. Dantooine. It seems like a lifetime since I last set foot on her surface. Though in truth, it's only been a few months. We should be safe from Malak here. For now, at least. Safe? You saw what his fleet did to Terrace. There wasn't a building over two stories high left standing. They, they turned the planet into one big pile of rubble. Even the Sith would think twice before attacking Dantooine. There are many Jedi here, including several of the most powerful masters of the Order. There is great strength within this place. We can't just keep running. Malak will find us eventually. We need to regroup. We need a plan. We can get supplies here and recuperate. The Academy is a place of mental and spiritual healing. Something we could all use after what we've been through. Maybe you're right. It isn't easy to witness the annihilation of the entire planet. I know Meshin must be taking it pretty hard. She will find a way to come to terms with her grief. She's stronger than she appears. We just need to give her time. Now I must go speak with the Council. I need their advice on recent developments. After I've met with them, I will meet you outside the ship.
I've spoken briefly with the council. They request an audience with you. We should go at once. Come, they're expecting us. I will lead you to the council chambers. Thank you. 